Hello, this is my first curry bites. These videos will be around three minutes or less to teach you one concept really fast. So let's get started teaching you how to create a customized UI component in React Native. Here we have our coding with curry text. We have a login button. So let's say that we want this button to have certain characteristics across the entire app and we want to import it into various different components. We're going to create a new component called button with background. Let's just copy some of this stuff here. We also need a touchable opacity. This allows us to see the effect when we actually touch the button to actually see that we get some visual feedback. So, okay, so for this, we're not gonna have a typical React component. We're gonna just have a functional component. Let's call this button with background and we're gonna pass props to it and we're gonna have the content be constant content. And then in here is where we define our actual view. So we're gonna have a uh, view style. We'll get to this a little bit later, equals parentheses. Then we define our actual UI here. So we do style. We'll define our button text here. So we need something for our text. Style equals styles dot. We'll define these in a bit. Our props is where we'll get our information for our button. So we're gonna have props dot text. So this will be passed to this component here. We're gonna have an array of styles here. So our first will be styles dot button. And we're actually gonna pass in a separate style, which will be for our background color. Props that color is uh, referring to the color prop that we pass in. So let's define our styles and we'll have button style. Uh, let's do 16 for padding. Width of the button will be, we'll do 200. And we're gonna have a border with this button. So we're gonna do border radius, which is a CSS parameter. Let's do around 24. And we're gonna align the text using align items, so center. Okay, and then we'll do, for the text, we'll do color white, font size of maybe 20 in this case. So up here, we need to actually return something. We want to return a touchable opacity. And then we're gonna put our content into here using the brackets. So, oh yeah, we forgot background here. And when, let's not forget to export default button with background. So if we go back to our app here, we can import button with background here. Let's just call this button with background. We'll replace our button here with button with background. Color will do black. So let's run this, see if we have this correct. No, we do not. Uh, let's go back here, align items. And fonts, yep, forgetting all of this, font size, this should be font size. And we're missing something else, we put the wrong thing here, so styles. And ta-da, we have our button here, that when we press we get a touchable opacity here. And that is all for creating a button that's customized we can make the font bigger, like so. And if you wanna change the background color, we can do red here, and now it's red. So yeah, I hope this helps you create more customized components. There are different ways to do this, but this is the most basic way to customize your, your components, and now we can import this button into other classes very easily and have the same button appear across different files, so. Thank you, bye.